Now we're going to take a look at the chess base opening encyclopedia 2011. Now if you've ever played chess at all you'll know that chess players uh, are really interested and sometimes can get quite obsessed with chess openings. Learning chess openings, memorizing chess openings and of course really knowing if you've played the opening properly. Well at the very top level of chess this can make the difference between a win and a loss. You can lose a game out of the opening. At the club level which um, I'm sure many of us including myself are at it's not quite as important but it's still a, a good uh, practice to know uh, how to properly do these, some of these openings and there's really no better way than using the tool of the chess space opening encyclopedia 2011. It presents uh, many of the same information that you'll find in the encyclopedia of chess openings or any one of those very large uh, chess books um, but it actually presents it all obviously as it's a chess space program in electronic format which makes it uh, searchable and usable in Chessbase, uh, the Chessbase program itself, or any of the Fritz family of playing programs such as um, Fritz and Ripke, Hayek, Shredder, Junior, all those kind of things. So in this video we'll take a quick look at uh, running it in Chessbase 11. Now the first thing you need to do is put the opening encyclopedia disk into the disk drive of your computer. If autoplay is enabled you may get a window something like this. Now, uh, what you've got to bear in mind when you're installing uh, a lot of Chessbase software is the, the thing that comes up and says, do you want to run Setup Exe, which is what you generally do with a lot of programs uh, on Windows computers. What it's actually asking you to install there is the Chessbase Reader program, which you don't need if you've got Chessbase uh, 11 or indeed Fritz 12 or any of the Fritz family playing programs I mentioned earlier. So, what we're going to do, if you do get this window, uh, just close that down. We don't need it, so we're not going to run it via that. We're actually going to install it using Chessbase 11. So I'll open up my Chessbase 11 program here, and the process is uh, virtually entirely automatic, uh, but it can take a little bit of time because obviously there's a great deal of information on this disk. of uh, more than 3.8 million games, which all feature the ECO codes. Um, so let's look at how we do that now. If you go to the top left of the screen here you'll see the application menu and if you scroll down you can actually see here there's an option for install. There's two options here you can use either but we're going to go to database from DVD. Uh, now if you get this message which looks like an error message but it's not don't worry about it too much because I've got two CD drives on my computer or two disk drives so it may be looking at the wrong one. You can retry but you'll probably get the same message in this instance but uh, I'm going to press cancel. So here you get the install database window which you might get straight away. Please install a database CD to install from. Obviously um, the open encyclopedia doesn't actually come on CD, it comes on DVD. Uh, but I think this, in this case the term is pretty much interchangeable. But there's so much information it is on DVD. Um, under here you'll see database and no database is found. So what we need to do, we need to show Chessbase 11 where the disk is on your computer. So to do that we'll click on the button here that says find CD path. This opens up a standard Windows Explorer window and you need to navigate it's actually on the correct thing at the moment but to get there you need to navigate to your computer disk drive um, which quite often you'll have the Chessbase Knight symbol here but the easiest way to do this I find is to actually scroll down the left and go on computer. I'm using Windows 7 which I'm sure many of you are. It'll be a similar process in Windows Vista uh, and Windows XP. You can usually do it via here as well so we can go to this top menu click on computer. This shows you the drives on your computers and you want to go onto the openings you'll see here you'll have your disk drive letter and then the title openings 2011. So you can either double click on that or if you want to you can click a single click on it and then click the button here for select folder. So as I say these, uh, this process might take a few minutes. You can see here it's actually going through the information on that disk which is uh, depending on the speed of your computer um, it will still take a few minutes uh, even on a fast computer. It may take a few moments should I say. So don't worry if you're getting this, even if you get an error message or a program not responding message, don't panic, don't worry. The program is working, just let it uh, find all that information on the disk. As I say, there's a lot of information there, so these things um, aren't instant. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm just going to pause the DVD 
pause the uh, video should I say while uh, we uh, while the program is finding that I won't click on anything I'll just restart the video when uh, the program search the full DVD